So for you to get to the place where God will reveal his interest to you, you need to stand up and pray. So the journey of fruitfulness starts with praying, all kinds of prayers. It is in prayers before God reveals his interest. He will first of all reveal your trouble, which is you. He will reveal it to you and you'll be angry. Because in, the, in your dream, you just see that you are the one chasing after guys, not guys chasing after you. In your dream. You know, you know we could say, not me, pastor, I had a dream. I was chasing after guys. I even wanted to kiss them. I said, no, not me, not me. He just sold you to you because the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Joint and marrow. It's a designer of the thought and the intent of the heart. First of all, neither is anything hidden in the sight of him with whom we have to deal. Everything is open, but everything is not open to you. So God begins to show you. You now see yourself in the dream trying to smoke. You say, Pastor, but I left smoke about one month ago. Why am I smoking? God is still on you. The thing is still inside the flesh there. <laughs> He's hibernating. In your dream, you see yourself speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. I sing, go, sing, go. But in, as you're speaking in tongues, you meet yourself in a pub where everybody is drinking and dancing. You are still saying, praise the Lord. They do when love takes over. You dance it a little. Praise the Lord. Oh, sing, go. He said, Pastor, I'm, I'm confused. No, don't be confused. They are so showing you all the flesh that are built up over the years. They are there. Somebody said, I went on an holiday, I didn't know, uh, with somebody, and I drank. I said, the drinking has always been in you. It's not because of what you Can you tempt Pastor David with, even as a non-believer, it was not in me. There's, it doesn't have many. Alcohol has many. Me, one minute I drink it, I'm all right. Another minute, I'm not normal. I'm not speaking coherently. I don't know who's going to steal my money. <laughs> a lot of them is not even sweet. I like Coke. Coke, when I finish preaching now, you give me cold Coke. The prayers that are only me will pray. You have never prayed this since you were born. But somebody will not give me a call. Sweet is not sweet. Normal is not normal. Then after two minutes, I'm not normal. <laughs> I have always been very wise. Pornography, I don't watch. It's a torment to your soul. Pornography is a torment to your soul. It's not physical. As an unbeliever, I wanted my sin to be physical so that when I was uh, being beaten for it, it's a physical sin. God, I know I committed the sin, but then my father will not catch me when I'm watching program. Hey, wow! I, I said, what? This is not normal. You can't tempt with, I can never be tempted with pornography. It doesn't make any meaning because I know that the people who are doing it are not normal. But we used to be very angry in my house. Every little thing gets me angry. I get angry to a point of irritation that I can be formated. I can be this morning inside this church here. I was placing myself under an oath. My wife was teaching, and I was placing myself under a oath in anger. <laughs> and I said, David, what is it? I was placing may hi, not me, may he die and never assist again if he ever talks to this person in his life. Only me. <laughs> if you all, you all, when I tell you, all of you don't know the extent to which this. I was, and I say, when I see this person, I'll say, May I die and never become anything in this life if you ever see his text message or anything in your phone. I know some of you don't understand if you are not in that field. It's another industry. <laughs> it's, 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 another, it's another industry. So it's me that now say, Come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. Oh. By which spirit did you just speak? <laughs> and I say, Holy Spirit, please, sorry. I know this is pride. This is anger. This is frustration. This is this. This is that. Forgive me in the name of Jesus. It will not happen. But if I've not used the Holy Spirit to stop it, according to the word of God, I'm going to say it and I don't regret what I say. And it's not of God not to be able to regret if anything goes wrong. And there are some people like that. And they think it's the Holy Spirit. Stubbornness is as witchcraft. Disobedience is idolatry. That's what Samuel told. So there are some of you that are witches. And idol worshippers. Yes, that's what the Bible says. You don't read Bible. 
that the sin of stubbornness is as witchcraft. Disobedience is idolatry. That's what Samuel told Saul. That's where they remove his kingdom. Isn't it? That's what they said. But stubbornness can be sweet inside our brain if you grow up with it. <laughs> Jesus. You just look at the person and you've rounded off everything in your heart. And I will not be laughing on my own. I don't know which power. <laughs> I'll be free. You look at me. I don't even know that I'm not tall. When that thing comes on me, there's nobody I cannot dare. Like a Rottweiler. I, yeah. One day I was planning in my heart against me. So one day okay, I would tell him this. Ah, I can need do this behind me. I'm going to tell him this. It's not when I was not praying, the Holy Spirit said, hmm. Have you seen people who never fulfill their destiny anymore in their life? I say, yes, I've seen. He say, your destiny will just be locked. There are things you say to a servant of God, even if he does not say anything, your destiny will just be locked. I say, ah. That is why the Bible says, the hunger of a man does not produce, he has never produced the righteousness of God. People like us, it's not adultery, adultery does not beckon to me. That's the reason why sometimes, let me close with this. Stop castigating others in their own sin. I didn't say weakness. God will help them as they, somebody is drinking, somebody is womanizing, somebody is uh, in the, the drug, somebody, but your own is that you are always angry. You are pridefully angry. You conclude everything in your heart and nobody can, your heart is a very small, if they go and use microscope to let you see your heart, it's very small, like this. But the decision you make in that place and the power that is in that place, one million people cannot dialogue with you. But to you, an adulterer say very smelly, Pastor. Don't you see them? Very smelly. They're very smelly. How can they think of that? What about your own? <laughs> he said, No, I saw I saw him somewhere. He was smoking cigarettes. Somebody who was once a Christian. How can you be smoking cigarettes? You, you are still a Christian. Tongue talking, but your heart is concrete. Hello. <laughs> Sava. Separated. Anytime I meet separated, there's a guy called separated in this church. When separated is in our element, even me, I walk away in anger. Because I talk, 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 talk all my talk, all my wisdom, everything finished. And separated is there. Mm. Pastor, I am. Hey. Mm. That separated. <laughs> There are other people. There's one in this church. She's the coolest of all the people. She doesn't make any noise. Jesus. Yes, Pastor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Three months, four months, the same issue is still there. Then I'll be wondering in my heart, does this girl want to go to heaven or hell? And she doesn't, she doesn't bother her. Say, oh, yes, yes. Where is it? This thing, this thing. Say, yes, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, which kind of thing is this? It's the first thing God will reveal to you because he wants you to deal with it because his interest will be messed up if your flesh is not dealt with. That's where I will stop. God's interest will be messed up. He was messed up in the life of Samson by adultery. He was messed up in the life of Solomon by multiplication of many women. He was messed up in the life of Moses by anger. He was messed up in the life of Judas by love of money. He was messed up in the life of Demas by the love of this world. Some people, it's only even in the things of God they take pride. Are you listening to what I'm saying now? The first thing God will defeat to you when you be, about pray. Let's stand up for that feet. But stand up and pray. Fast, pray. See. When God reveals yourself to you, he doesn't even want you to remove it. He just wants you to decide that this will not be in my life. He's the one that will remove it. You didn't hear me? Then he will begin to reveal his interest. That gets your prayer answered. He begins to reveal his interest. He begins to reveal his interest. He begins to say, Monica, I have created you to be a prophetess. And your prophetic ministry is to start in Dublin. I'm moving you to Dublin. Your prophetic ministry will start there. 
But before God will get to that point, he will first of all reveal yourself to you. He will tell you once you get any church member and you are together, you have made a church out of church and you like it. <laughs> and he will say, I don't want this because I want to use you for multiply thousands of people. I want you to be able to know how to do team playing. Are you listening to me? Some of us, God began to reveal anger and liking for women. He was the only dream and business I was in when I got born. I said, what is this? Little thing, I'm already kissing one girl. Little thing, I, I will be chasing guy around the street. They will not be running. So I now wake up in the dream. In my, in my, in my, I wake up physically. And I say, God, but what is this? How can I be chasing guy around it? He said, I'm the one who will make them to be running. <laughs> Say there is something that still chases them in your <laughs> but I'll make sure. <laughs> Are you here with me? Are you getting the fire? 